Where are my 1099 illegally misclassified independent contractors on here? I know you're watching. I know you're out there. You're like, oh, whatever. Okay, hey, and an appellate court just ruled on this. So the new rule is an economic realities test. Can you actually pass this test and say, yes, I'm being legally classified as an independent contractor? Let's see. Hint, no, you probably can't. Hello and welcome to Trucking Answers. I'm Mark, your legally classified host. The economic realities test is now in effect. So can you pass this test? To what extent do you, uh, what you're doing is part of the integral part of the business. So Joe's Plumbing hires a plumber, not an independent contractor. That's what they do is plumbing. So I don't know, trucking company hires a truck driver. Ugh, okay, so there we go. All right, by the way, I should say, I'm not a lawyer and uh, this is not legal advice, it's my opinion. You should seek a lawyer if you want actual legal advice. Next up, the permanency of the relationship. For instance, can you go somewhere next Tuesday for three days and then somewhere else for two days and then come back for a week? Independent contractors have to be just that, independent. If you are not free to do this, if you can't just come and go as you please, are you independent? I don't know. Economic realities test. Control. Who controls your day? Does your company tell you where to go, where to fuel, where to get the truck fixed? Uh, what to take? Do they put a stuff in your truck like a camera that you can't take out? There's nothing you can do about it. Do they speed limit the truck? Do they tell you to wear a uniform? All these things are control. You know, when to get up, when to go to bed. Do they send the police to wake you up uh, in case you, uh, you know, do a welfare check on you? All these kind of things. That's all control by the company that they can, that they can exert over an employee, but not over an independent contractor. Next, your investment in the tools of the trade. Equipment. In this case, it would be a truck. Do you have any money? Are you providing the equipment or is it provided to you uh, as an independent contractor, but you drive a company truck, all right? If you don't have any investment in tools of the trade in any equipment or anything, you know, that's a strike against you. And the ability to suffer a profit or loss. Can you have a loss? At the end of the week, can you owe money? All right, a business can run a loss. If you are an actual independent contractor running a business, you have to be able to run a loss. You may lose money some weeks, every week, most weeks, it just depends. But if you can't have a loss, if you cannot suffer a loss where you, your lowest check could be zero, all right, then you are really not independent, are you? Because you're not running a business. You're merely being misclassified. Look, and I see this all the time on the fantastic live show that went just this last Monday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern time, we had somebody comment on a company that is outside of Chicago offering, you know, 50 some cents a mile to 1099 drivers. That's ridiculous. All right. Why you would do that is beyond me. The only reason that it might make sense to allow yourself to be illegally misclassified would be for a large pay raise. So if you can get 60, 70, 80 cents as a company driver, it seems like you need a buck to be an independent contractor because the company saves a lot of money and they ought to share that with you. They don't have to pay workman's comp. They don't have to pay medical. They don't have to give you vacations. They don't have to give you holidays. They don't do any of this stuff. And they don't pay their half of your self-employment tax, all that, right? So that money, some of it ought to come to you. If they don't, what are you doing? What's the point? If you can go get 70 cents as a company driver. Why would you take 55 cents as an independent contractor where you're being misclassified illegally? It doesn't make any sense. So are you being misclassified illegally? If you're a 1099 driver and driving a company truck, in my opinion, you are. There's virtually no way for you to drive somebody else's truck where they dispatch you, tell you where to go, they buy the fuel, you have no investment in anything, you can't suffer a loss, you're not independent, you're an employee that's being misclassified, either by your own uh, doing because you don't mind it or where it's illegally being done to you and you don't understand it. But either way, that's what's happening. Eventually, that stuff catches up with you. Go be an employee or really be an independent contractor. Go buy a truck and lease it on to somebody. All right. Uh, you know, if you want to be independent, go be independent. But don't try to come and say, well, I'm independent. I drive a company truck and, uh, you know, they have a camera and a speed limit. And, but I'm independent. You're, no, you're not. All right. You're a company driver just like the rest of us out here. So thanks for watching. And we'll be back soon with another Trucking Answers.